Hi, welcome to A2Z Knowledge at Come. So today we are going to discuss what is the difference between distributed and standalone. That is, distributed file system or computing versus standalone file system or computing. There is a big confusion between uh, these two. So that's why I am here to just give you a kind of a solution uh, for this. So what is exactly the difference between us? See, distributed when I say, I am just giving some example first of all. So we can say some distributed file system in market. We have something called S3, which is Amazon file system. And then we have HDFS. It's a distributed file system, which is Hadoop distributed file system and many other things we are having. And then with respect to standalone, I can say NTFS, which is Windows file system and EXT is your Linux file system. So what exactly uh, distributed is all about? When I say distributed, people will say, like why you are saying NTFS is standalone? If I have 10 machines, Windows machine, which is connected in LAN or which is connected in the same network, then it is distributed, right? Then why you are putting this NTFS under standalone? People will ask me like that. When we say distributed or standalone, it's not depends on the topology of the cluster. When I say topology, physical structure of the network, it is not physical structure. We should not uh, uh, tell the file system or a computing is distributed based on the physical structure. So I have 10 machine forms one cluster, 10 machine of one cluster which is connected in the wire. So we should not say all of a sudden that is distributed like that. See, when, when, when we say distributed with respect to any technology, it depends on the data distribution, not on the topology. So for example, if you take a distributed, what is the use of distributed computing and file system in first place is, so when I give some data, the data has to be get distributed and when I do process on it, the process also will be in a distributed mode. So that the resource pressure of the particular machine is getting reduced. So I am giving some uh, 1 GB file to you and I am asking you to process. So you will feel it is pressure. So instead of what I am doing, I am cutting that 1 GB file into 3 or 4, uh, 200 MB, 300 MB, the remaining. Like that I am splitting and I am giving to 3 person and I am asking them to process. So now the work has been divided because the data has been divided. So that is why we people are entering into distributed technology because of the data in day to day life which is creating like anything. So in the distributed world, if you take S3 and HDFS, for example, I am having 10 HDFS machines which is installed, Hadoop is installed and when I give some 1 GB data to the first machine of Hadoop, what it will do, right? It will take that 1 GB file and it will cut it into small, small pieces and it will distribute it. That is where we used to say the particular computing or a file system is distributed or standalone. It's not on the physical structure. Whereas if I do the same thing with Windows file system, I am giving 1 GB file to the first Windows file system, it will never split that into small, small data and it will never divide it across the uh, machines, which it will never do. So that is where the difference between distributed and standalone. So even though you have 10 Windows machine connected in a LAN or a network, it is not at all a distributed one day. A network guy can say this is distributed because he will concern about the physical structure. Other than that, we are all data developers. So we should never uh, concern about, uh, we should not never uh, say the particular computing or a file system is distributed based on its topology, that is physical structure. We have to say based on the data. And one more thing, like when I install Windows operating system and Linux operating system, I will get NTFS and EXT. But these file systems are not like that because for installing any distributed file systems in your environment, you need a native OS. When I say native OS, some standalone operating system is needed. Either you have to install NTFS or EXT or any other standalone file system first. On top of it, you have to create the distributed file system environment because distributed file system is a virtual one, even though you have physical machines. So we can discuss more on the last point which I have explained, but this video is purely about just to give a difference between standalone and distributed. So if you like this video, please subscribe my channel. We have many videos which is uploaded in English and Tamil. If you really like this video, pass to your friends and colleagues. Thanks for watching A2Z Knowledge.com.